Well now we're going to create a simple eye, or rather a pair of eyes for our caterpillar. Delete the default cube or whatever shape you've got in your scene. Do a space bar, add a mesh, add a UV sphere. Put the segments and the rings down to something like 20 because it's going to be quite small eventually in the scene. Instead you want to have the cursor and the mouse over the front view when you first create this sphere. Uh, to do with the orientation of the, of the faces just for ease of use. Now we're going to give this uh, a white material. Click on the colour picker there for a change. Give the uh, material a name here in white as in the white of the eye in the link and pipeline there, link to object. And what we're going to do is turn the specular up to a high level. Specular is the reflective spot on a shiny object like a billiard ball or something. And the hardness is set very high so you get a preview there. So it'll look like a moist white of an eye. It's not very sophisticated this, but it, it works. Now basically, scale up so you can get a good view of the sphere in the scene. Hit tab to get into edit mode. Uh, press A to select all and A again to deselect all if, um, if things are already selected. And you press B once on the keyboard to get border select. And with looking at the side view like this, just drag the mouse until you select just the very top of the sphere. Go on to the editing context menu and here you'll see that you've got a material and it's got one material index. And now you've got a material, it's got two material indexes when you click new like that. Now if you click on this button assign and as it says in edit mode it assigns the selected um, phase index, uh, sorry vertex points to the, to the selected material index. So now if we click select, because we've assigned it, you notice there in the view it, it shows that it actually selects or deselects those vertex points. So if you click select, you can see up there it's selected them, deselect, it's deselected them. Now if we click the arrow there and go to the first material, so it's got two materials and this is the first one. If you select and deselect, you'll see it selects the other faces. So you can quickly see that's how you set up the material indexes by selecting faces or vertex points and assigning. But it's not the only step to do. Obviously, we cl click now on the material, back to the material buttons, and we've got a similar thing here. And it shows that the white color has got two users. Two users. If I move it across, you can see. Two users of that data. So you click on it, and it asks you if you want to make it a single user. We're looking at the second material, which is going to be the pupil, which we will now name pupil. And so obviously we're going to make that a black colour. So you click on the colour picker there, drag it down, move the cursor away. And it's as simple as that, once you understand it, we've selected. And we've created now, there's two materials, two material indexes, and we've created two separate materials on our object. So although we need to set it on smooth, that creates a simple eye for us. Click on, go on to edit, click on set smooth. And even in the um, preview screen, like this, set solid, you can see that we've got a simple but hopefully effective eye. So let's go to the camera view and we'll quickly render that so you can see how it looks. We've just got the normal empty in the scene where the camera's uh, tracking to the empty. So if we just move the, uh, move the camera around, in the top view for it's over to the left and then move our empty which is the same as we did in the city tutorial and uh, if we are oh, the lighting is not very good we'll we'll sort that out so you can get a good view of um, how the eyes gonna look remember it's gonna be quite small in the scene but you can see you can see the reflections from the lights there it's just it's very simple and uh, very basic obviously you could use image textures to make a more complex texture now, to make it easier for appending that from into other scenes, we need to give that sphere a proper relative, proper name, which surprisingly is going to be I. So now, instead of looking for the objects when you go to append, you think, oh, which object, is, which sphere is it? It's the one that's called I, because it's the I. And we'll actually save, oh, I've already got one called I, so we'll call it I2. But obviously, you could, if you're looking for the eyes, you can append them from one of the other caterpillar files on the 